all my brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the fastest 30 minutes in broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and get started here and see if we can get going. You know that weather out there is record-breaking temperatures. And i tell you what, they say the children are getting ready to go back to school in about a week or two or three. I don't know how long. But and they talking about climate change and everything else and all this and that. Well, I myself personally believe that we're going to have a good cold winter. Don't you think so? Well, I hope so, Prophet Johnson. I'm tired of this hot weather. Well, when the cold weather get in, you're going to say you're tired of the cold weather. So God can't satisfy us either way it go. I don't care if it burn up the whole, whole world with a heat wave. As long as we understand that the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. And as you can see, I'm up in here sweating today. But we're going to go ahead and get started here. 100 plus degrees out there, whatever it is. And uh, the climax start to finish, you know that that day of the Lord will not come except it come as a thief in the night. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2. Now we beseech you, uh, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and, uh, by, the, and by gathering uh, together unto him by the coming of our Lord and gathering together unto him. Remember, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will do the drawing. The bride is lifted up and carried into the father's house or the bridegroom, his father's house, that you be not soon shaken in mind, not soon shaken in mind. I, to, I tell you all the time, you don't have nothing to worry about. Now, let me say this right here. Let's talk about the kingdom a little bit while we're moving on because we're climaxing this. Listen, Jesus talked about all the time, the kingdom, the kingdom. Even when you pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto. And God spoke something to me. And I said, God, what about the kingdom of America? What about the kingdom of the churches here in America? The Lord let me know. He said, the kingdom is already built here. I said, what? He said, the kingdom is already built here. The church kingdom is already built here. I said, what do you mean? He said, look at all the churches. Look at all the ministries. The, the, the kingdom in America is not missing anything. I said, well, the kingdom is to go and build the poor and open up the blind eyes. He said, yeah. He said, that gospel and that wealth that's coming from the ministries of the nation is to be taken and spread abroad. And you go and you build a kingdom in Africa. You build a kingdom in India. You see, that's how you're going to build a kingdom. In Ethiopia, in places where there are real poor people. Because these are fat children of God and fat Christians that are in the kingdom of God over here. And that it's already done. It's already done. So what... What really of the mainstream media, televangelists, whatever you want to call them, whoever your preachers are, basically what they're doing is just gathering resources, gathering money, gathering, gathering, hoarding, greedy. So they're building their own personal kingdom and their own personal family off of the kingdom of God. Think about it, folks. Last days, love of many would wax cold. That you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word. Remember the God of this world, of all the nations. I've told you this a million times. For the first time living strong viewers, you're catching up. And I know that y'all probably haven't been able to sleep from watching viewer after viewer, especially on Universal Truth. Remember the God of this world is an atomic bomb. That is the God that the nations serve. That's the God that your leaders serve. Okay? You don't have to worry about that. Why? Because they cannot drop one because it would mess up all the nations of the world and the rich people in Hollywood and all the famous folks is going to shut their lives down. Okay? It's going to shut their lives down. And watch that blackness of the grid coordinates. Watch that lights out in America. All right? They ran the test before in New York and everywhere else up there on that East Coast. Don't you be troubled neither by word nor by spirit nor by letter from us for that day of the Lord or the day of Christ is at hand, which means within that length. 
the hand of your heart at hand, hands length of life. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, <coughs> excuse me, except there come a falling away first. Well, the falling away, we can forget about that. You see, the falling away is a rebellion. The falling away is a divorcement from God. It's a, the falling away is a do it my way. It, 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 there's a great falling away in which people that are Christians think that they're right and okay by hurting other people, talking about other people. Folks, I don't have time for that. The falling away is taking place in the heart and in the minds of the people, not in the body, not in the physical union as far as going to church in the rituals, in the routine. They go to church. You got a whole lot of people sitting in the church that done fell away and falling asleep while they're there. So, you know, except there be a falling away first, the thing you're thinking about is that a whole lot of church folks is going to go out in the street that used to serve God, and they're going to be going out there smoking and joking and drinking and stanking and huffing and puffing and falling all out. And, no, that's not that's not the falling away that they're doing. The falling away is a sneaky falling away, a snaky falling away. Okay, you're dealing with hypocrite and low down, dirty, sneaky snake Christians that are in the church, but they're hell raisers. You understand? All right. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And the Bible declares in verse uh, number seven, for the mystery of iniquity doth work already. Do you hear that word, mystery of iniquity? <laughs> oh God, this is so true. Which means that the iniquity or the veering off course or the evil hides behind the, a, a mystery. And that mystery is, is like a, a, a two-way glass window. You know what I mean? You can see on one side, but, but you can't see on the other side. But the person on the other side can see you, but you can't see them. That is that mystery in which people themselves, you hear me, are mysterious in their dealings, undermining in their actions, and cover-ups as far as their relationship goes with God and with you as an individual. You would be surprised. And I tell you, I am shocked out of this world to see the human species of mankind that goes out to destroy people and to talk about people and to hurt people. And these are Christians that are doing this stuff all in the church just Everywhere, just everywhere, it's just undermining like you have never seen before. You're talking about a dog-eat-dog -dog world. My God, brothers and sisters in Christ, pack your bags. Pack your bags. This is an individual thing. You are on your own. The church is obsolete. The church is through. I don't care. You know, they talk about people going back to church. Well, people got to go back to church. What are you talking about? It's in them. That's tradition. Here it is, and, that, and, and, and for the mystery of iniquity doth work already, only he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And they think that, they believe this is the Holy Spirit that's holding back the powers of Satan and the greater part of those mysteries of iniquity that doth work already. Remember, you got, you got Satan, you got the Antichrist, and you got the false prophet. Those are the three that's working together against the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it's a triune Godhead uh, imitation. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power in signs and lying wonders. Now, let me say that what they call the mainstream evangelical church is in more trouble than ever before because of the easiness of deception. Any um, agent, anything, anything almost, just anyone, any leader can come and lead the evangelical church into a pit of hell 
through the government or through some type of a Christian dome or name brand or whatever. They can lead all of them straight there thinking that they, they love God, serving God. They just love. But but you see, you've got to remember that these people. OK, I'm going I'm to say these people, what they call evangelical church, 90 percent of what they would call the evangelical church is full of Christians that have much hatred and racism. Remember, this is what they call evangelical, all right? Not just the church. You got all types. You got Pentecostal. They don't consider themselves to be evangelical. They, you, you got many of the Baptist church, mainstream, southern. A lot of them are called evangelicals, okay? Uh, you know, <laughs> and then you got the Methodists. It, a lot of them may be called evangelicals. Catholics, they're not called evangelicals, but go on down the line. Mormons are not called evangelicals. Seventh-day Adventists are not called evangelicals. Those are your mainstream churches that come through many of your Baptist Methodist organization that is controlled by the 12 o'clock hour, you see. And the, the pastors are controlling. They're all limited because they'll lose their job if they don't let the people get out of, t out of church in time enough for a smoke break before they go play golf. All right, they they got to light up the air outside. I, I passed by a church that that uh, you know you would have thought it was the glory of God, and a cloud was outside the church. And what it was, it was the men outside the church smoking, uh, right there when uh, they were greeting the people as the pastor on the way out the door. And and with all deceivableness, this is the last day's climax, and showing you what's getting ready to happen in the end. With all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive, they receive not the love of truth. Now, what did they do? See, here it comes. Notice they didn't receive, they, they received not, not the love of truth, not the love of God, not that I don't love God. They would not receive the love of truth. You see, the truth teller has been trying to tell y'all that the only test that you have on this earth is the test of love. So now he shows you the love of truth. Oh, God, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You see, because you have got to love truth. But men don't love truth. Men hate truth. They hate truth about everything pertaining to themselves. And you cannot tell it to them. You cannot because we got our own truth. Now let me say this right quick while I'm on it. And I've got to warn there are certain species of mankind known as the African American species of mankind. God allowed me to see something. And he said, look at them, all of your colored species of mankind. He said, do you see why they went into exile? Do you see why they went into slavery? He said, I told them that they would go and serve another species of mankind, preferably the white, and therefore they will have to look to him to feed them, to clothe them, to shelter them, to have the wealth of their life. And I will give them favor with them through their gifts, their sports, their talents. You know, and then what did we do? What, do we, what are we doing? What are your children doing? Come on, species. They are killing each other in the street, hating each other on television, in the hell of visions, in music, in song, fighting in the church, jealous of what you got want what you got in which they had what you got and then on top of that your children fighting over tennis shoes of another black man killing themselves in the streets they are running around like wild asses that are called negroes or they call them deep word hurtful pain here it comes i'm prophet johnson wild ass niggers is what they call y'all so god allowed don't i don't i say it didn't i say that didn't i say it? so god said look he said look he said nobody else is going to tell them this because they are gone astray so now what he showed me he said i'm gonna gather in the minnows 
are the ones that are on their knees, are the ones that are lifted up holy hands, are the ones that love the truth, are the ones that still serve me, not with a form or a fashion, but with godly love and purpose. And he said, I'm going to gather them out of the remnant. And many of them that you see right now in the streets, all the booty shakers on TV, you know what you did? We came over here and we turned to idols. We see, that's why we got in trouble because of idols. Remember the false calf, the calf, golden calf? So now they turn to the idols of wealth, of glory, of fame, of fortune. And God said, look at them. Look, you still can't tell them that. Couldn't lead them then, can't lead them now, because they are the only human species on this earth that is destroyed by others in that destroy themselves. That's for what's called or known as the black species of mankind. I heard one guy call into the program and he said, uh, you know, I'm going to tell everybody to know that uh, I am not uh, 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 African-American. I am not an African. I am a black American. <laughs> like, it ain't going to make no difference, brother. <laughs> like, you know, it's not going to make a difference. Like one of the sisters or one of the favorite shows that they come out with, uh, the little kids was telling me, that, and, and I, have you seen this movie about them with the water world and all this Avatar stuff, everything else? I said, no, I hadn't seen it. Well, you need to watch that. Said, well, the, the one black girl, I said, well, that black sister there, uh, well, she don't claim she's black. She say she's not black. She's something else. I said, well, what colors are skin uh, like yours and mine? I said, don't worry. They got her. I said, they got her. You ain't got to worry about that. They going to get you. All right? They going to get you. If you're black, you're black. You ain't going nowhere else. I don't care if you Woods the Tiger or whoever else you call yourself, Tony the Tiger. It don't matter. You black. <laughs> Here it is. Man, they got to get a, a, a revelation. We got to finish this, y'all. We got to finish this. Whoo! Glory to God. That final judgment is getting ready to come. Oh, God, I, I, I'm not going to have time to read all of this, okay? And here it is. And here it is. Um, and, and we got to flip-flop and close this out. Uh, Revelation chapter number 20, verse number 11. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth in the <laughs> <clears throat> and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. You can run, but you can't hide. God going to let you get by. I done told y'all. He going to let you roll it. God going to let you roll. Big wheels keep on rolling. Hell fire keep on burning. Come on. Come on, rolling. And I saw the dead, small, and great stand before God. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, yo. Please don't worry. It's not going to bother you because you are alive. Think about the people that are dead now. The people that they are steady killing. The people that they are hunting and everything else. I had a debate with someone. It was a heated debate, <laughs> you know, and they was talking about Florida and everything else. As a matter of fact, there was a couple of people, as a matter of fact, the leadership and somebody else. They was talking about Florida. And I was telling them, I said, oh, my God. I said, I love Florida, but I hate Florida. I said, that is the one of the worst places in the world besides all these other places. Oh, Florida this, Florida that, going to Florida, 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 vacation, Florida, Florida. I said, let me tell you something, brother, sister. <laughs> I said, Every time I went to Florida, I was hunted like a dog. I was hunted and profiled. I said, I can't even drive to Florida because of who I am anyway. It's right for just, folks, y'all don't want to hear this. White folks, y'all don't want to hear it. Black folks, you already know this. Okay? And the police put, I mean, God, are you talking about low down and dirty and evil? Good Lord, you're talking about some evil and dirty. They, I mean, folks, y'all have no idea. I wish I could tell y'all. This is why. This is why I can warn y'all. Warning, warning, warning. Code it, code it, code it. You're not going to get it till it hits you. Judgment is going to come up on Florida. That hurricane John Henry is going to come in the form of another man or a woman disguised by name. He and she is going to tear up Florida, Darien, 
going to tear up Hilton Head, Brunswick, Jessup, Hinesville, going to tear up Jekyll Island or St. Simon Island. Savannah is going to be devastated. Hilton Head, Buford, Bluffton. John Henry is going to drive that steel drill. Shake! And the Northeaster is going to pull back. And the Northeaster is going to reverse itself and become a East North uh, Western. It's going to become an East North Western. It's going to pull in. And that thing is going to come in about 100 or so plus miles from the coast. And this thing is going to be bigger than the state of Texas. And it's going to swallow up the region. It's going to destroy the, the witches and, and the witches over there in the cities. And it's going to destroy the southeast coast. It's going to destroy much of Florida. It's going to tie up Georgia and South Carolina. John Henry is going to eat y'all alive on, on, until he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. What's going to happen? The prophet is going to remove his feet. He's going to remove his genealogy. He's going to shake the dust off of his feet. And over those cities, once that is settled, and Prophet Johnson removed and is removed from your regions by law or by justification of actions, judgment is going to come in. The only reason judgment hadn't hit that city is because I still got my feet print, footprint on the land. That you better believe. What do you do, to Prophet Johnson? I told God, no, don't let nothing happen while I'm here. No, I said, I don't, I said, leave it. The Lord, don't worry, Prophet. When you get out, they coming. <laughs> they coming. <laughs> they coming. <laughs> and so if you're smart, you're going to listen to me. When you see John Henry come, you better run like hell and go find heaven. I'm not worried about y'all that are viewing living strong that's in that area. Y'all getting out of there. Y'all gonna leave because y'all know what the deal is. Y'all know the words that I'm speaking. Everybody that's viewing this broadcast that know Prophet Johnson, when it comes, they gonna say, that's her, that's him. That's the one Prophet Johnson was telling us about. That's the one coming to destroy the city. Going to be revenge like you ain't never seen before. It's going to take months and years to straighten out this whole East Coast. From Florida to Georgia to South Carolina. John Henry is going to bring judgment upon the land like you have never seen before. Why? Because you rejected the truth and didn't have the love of the truth. Watch God. God said, what did God say? Uh, leadership. Uh, pastor, what did God say over here in verse number 11? In Jeremiah chapter number 14. Then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people for their good. You see, God said to me, prophet, you done prayed and you done say, he said, I don't want you praying for them no more for their good. Why? Because they ain't no good. <laughs> Woo! Tell it! Yes, there it comes, there it comes, that comes, that comes. The Lord threw it out of the heavens just like a frisbee, say it's on its way. <laughs> Woo, Prophet Joshua, why, why are you prophesying? I do? No, 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 I, I, I'm telling you the truth. Because we won't listen. The floods are not enough, even in the hot weather. Water banks over in <laughs> Colorado. Yeah, how much water y'all gonna steal? Water banks under the ground. Lying about everything. Folks, if 
I could tell y'all, you're living in an abasement of the last days. You're, you're just living in it. And an appeasement. That's it. We Borrow time. You better, you better go borrow somebody watch. You better go get that Rolex. Because you definitely on borrow time. But don't worry. Keep having children. Keep getting married. Keep having babies. Keep chasing the American dream. Keep going after the money. Keep living the way you're living. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be just like them. The five wise and the five foolish. When they show up, many are not going to be ready. Why? Because they're gathering junk right now for the storm to tear up. Pooler, Port Whitworth, y'all going to get blown to hell. Y'all getting blown to hell. All along Hardville, all up in there, getting blowed. Y'all getting blowed. He coming in, he going to blow y'all. Jesse Hinesville, y'all don't think he going to reach y'all. He coming to get you too. He going he gonna to reach over. He going he gonna to sweep through and reach over and bite you. And bite you. Won't be a house able to hold the pressure that's coming. You better have your brick house. Because even if you do got your brick house, make sure you don't have your devil in there. Because God's looking for the devil that you're sleeping with. <laughs> Woo! Here it is. Let me move on. I don't like him. and I love you. Here it is. And I saw the dead small and great. Verse number 12. Stand before God and the books were opened. The books. Books. With an S on the end of it. <laughs> the last books of, the, the last book of life. And, and what, what other book? The book of life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Were opened. And another book was opened. Which is the book of life. All right. This, it, it, it's, it's, it's got a record of everything. See, it's got a record. I, I was telling someone that, that, that what God going to do, you're you going to see your record now. I don't have time for that. I don't have time. I said, my boss going to be like this. Roop, 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 roop. And all that in that little square box going to be all my sins and my dirt. And I said, oh, God, God, I don't want you to look in that box. God said, yeah, I got all that dirt. And then he showed me another box. The other box he showed me, and I told the person, I said, okay, here's the other box. Other box, boom, 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 boom. And that box was all Jesus. That box was all Jesus. And in that little sin for box in the corner, I said, God, I want to make the Jesus box. And the Lord said, you're filling the box in pretty good, prophet. Because all your life, the most of your life, all you've ever done was talked about Jesus, the most of your life and all your life. You see, yeah, yeah, you go. <laughs> no matter. I laugh so hard. I see why the prophets in the Bible laugh. <laughs> Jeremiah, uh, boy, they laugh. Uh, uh, Isaiah, they laugh, they laugh. Boy, I see why the prophets laugh. I understand now. Prophets like to eat, laugh, and have a good time and be happy. That's what prophets love. Prophets love to eat, laugh, have a good time, and be happy and bless people. And bless people. We love blessing people. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Uh, I don't have time for that. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Okay. The sea. Those that are in the Titanic and everything else. Death and hell. Now, okay. Now they, they done died one time and went to hell. Now they got to come out of hell. Go to court. Stand before Jesus. And Jesus say, oh, go back to hell. You see, that's what's going to happen at the great white throne. And they will judge every man according to their works. But you don't believe that. You don't believe that. You do not believe. We don't believe it. We don't believe that. Okay? You can't work your way into heaven no, according to your works, your actions in life. <laughs> Where your heart was. God's not saying construction work. He's not saying a nurse. Okay? That's a different type of work. I'm closing, Cap. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Into the lake. But it don't matter. It, you can't scare the hell out of the people. You cannot do it. Lake of fire. You cannot do it. They say it's hot as hell outside. No, it's not. It's not going to matter because we got this. I'm talking to somebody 
that's living in reality right now. Somebody said, this guy is told enough to tell the truth. I'm closing. This is the second death, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. You see, climax to closing, the truth teller telling you like it is. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins, and I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Real Christians, you don't have nothing to worry about. Death is the best thing that you're going to ever meet. That's my time. Thank you for yours. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Climax in the Father, the Son, the Bride. Love you too. Bye. <laughs>